Welcome to Excel Mobile Learning. Read it, hear it, see it, learn it, Excel. Thank you for viewing the Polytop installation video featuring an on-site product installation. This project used two coats of 5050 Polytop to create an extremely high gloss build coat over a standard concrete countertop. 5050 Polytop is a unique polyurea coating that is enhanced with nanotechnology to improve its resistance. 5050 Polytop is a self-priming sealer and two coats are all that's required on most countertops. 5050 Polytop is also a low VOC product with a rating of less than 10 VOC. This product meets the current requirements of all air quality management districts in the United States. Polytop can be used inside or outside and it will not yellow from exposure to sunlight. Most Polytop installations can be completed in a few hours. The main properties required for this project were 1. Permanent adhesion to concrete 2. The ability to withstand hot items placed on it for short periods of time 3. Fast and easy installation 4. Good abrasion resistance to help maintain the gloss 5. Smooth mirror-like finish that provides a wet look 6. A VOC of 10 or less to meet the strictest air quality standards in the nation, even in Southern California. Here is a list of job requirements. Polytop will only work on clean concrete countertops. Be sure there are no other compounds like curing agents, waxes, or other possible bond breaking materials that could affect the adhesion of Polytop to the concrete. A good test to do is to pour some water onto the countertop. Then check to make sure it absorbs and darkens the concrete. To start the application, the 50-50 Polytop is mixed as shown on the label by first combining the two components into a mixing container and then mixing with a drill and small paint paddle. Only mix enough material to cover the first coat. Mix the materials for two minutes. It's important that dry the dry, dry countertop and that all surrounding areas are masked off. Start applying the Polytop at one edge of the counter and begin working towards the opposite edge while making sure to maintain a wet edge. The application shown here uses a small lint-free roller to apply the material and then a soft bristle brush to lay it off. The laying off of the material helps release any bubbles that form and help the material level out to a smooth finish. Be sure to lay off the material soon after applying it. If you wait too long, you may see brush or lap marks. Allow the material to dry for one to two hours. Check the surface for any small bubbles that may have occurred and be sure to sand them down before applying the next coat. Mix some more material and apply a second coat in the same manner as the first coat. Allow material to dry at least 12 hours before light use and 24 hours for moderate use. It is also important to note that the polytop contains solvent, so it's important to work in a well-ventilated area and wear proper carbon-filtered respirators, as well as protective clothing during the application process. We also recommend that you turn off all pilot lights and other sources of ignition during the installation process. Polytop has a medium odor and will cause lightheadedness if a respirator is not used. When dry, you will have a countertop with incredible shine and gloss. The final coat on the countertop in this video was allowed to dry three hours, and as you can see, it still looks wet. Your customers will still think the Polytop is wet, and they'll be very surprised when they find out it's dry. Please view detailed brochures, installation guides, and MSDS sheets at www.garagecoatings.com. Thank you for watching Excel Mobile Learning. Read it, hear it, see it, learn it, Excel.